Because God has not dealt kindly with you. The first time I came into this wonderful town, Ujabujesha, I found my way to the front of Interlink Polytechnic. And I was waiting for my host and hostess to come and get me. Italy Polytechnic sits on, if I recall correctly, about 51 to 52 hectares of land. Italy Polytechnic has not been instituted by anybody who has been listed by Forbes magazine as a multi-billionaire. What Interlink Polytechnic represents for me, when I look at this gospel family, is that God is still in the business of taking ordinary people and using them to do superordinary things. We may not see God. Some of you may never have seen an angel before. They exist. But when you look at the goodness and greatness of God in the life of people around you, when they testify to what God has done with them, through them and for them, Children of God, I want to urge you today that that was God Himself telling you, if only you can believe that I did it for these people, and it is proof that I will do it for you. I pray for every believer in the house. From this moment on, whenever people glorify God around you, Whenever people share testimony about God, where you are, take it as a reminder that God who did it for them, surely will do it for you in the name of Jesus. The story of Job is very, very touching. The most popular man in this town, and in one day, he lost everything he had. All that was left for him was his health. And the very next day he lost his health too. Plus all of his children. But there's something that comforts me about God when I choose to celebrate him. There's something in the story of Job that I want to call your attention to. I'm not going to bother to read it so I do not spend too much time. But it's found in the book of Job chapter 42. And the word of God said, God turned around the captivity of Job. And God gave him double for everything he had lost. I'm hoping somebody can catch something in this drama. For his physical property, God made sure that he doubled all that Job had lost. But for his children, again I repeat, for the children Job lost, God did not give him times two. God gave him the exact number of children he lost, the exact number of females and the exact number of males. But the Bible did say that the glory of the new set of children was greater than the glory of the former set of children. What is the remedy here for you? For those of you who are still young in marriage, and those of you who are looking ahead at getting married, there is wisdom in how many children God gave Job. The Yoruba say, Oma Mere, Oshibere, give birth only to the number of children 
you have confidence you can train properly. If there is anybody in this hall this morning, when you take a look at the life of Dr. Alabi, who I saw in one of the wonderful drama productions that was played to us briefly today, when you take a look at the life of Shola Alon, when you look at the magnificent spiritual and secular achievements of Supreme Evangelist Komi Alon, be reminded that whatsoever you lose, as long as you do not lose Christ, you will restore. You will choose to restore double in some cases, and then you will choose to restore better in other cases. I pray for somebody whose amen is loud enough. No matter where you are seated in this hall, the God that we celebrate tonight, He will restore you. Amen. He will prove His goodness in your life. Amen. He will prove His greatness in your life.
because I will be contaminated. That the Lord just said to me that they would unplug him three days from that day and he will be taken to the mortuary. That he was only showing him the movie of his life. Because you see, with God, unlike men, you cannot take a lawyer that will argue your case. God was showing him all his wickedness. God was showing him all the evil he committed. So even before his body was deposited in the mortuary, he already knew he was going to hell. And the Lord did not give me any permission because he was dead already. God was just waiting for three days to complete the story of his life. Three days after he was unlocked. People do these things forgetting that one day they will die. And when they hear people tell them about God, they become highly irritated. My brother and my sister, I'm talking to you about a God who saves. A God who hears when we pray to Him. A God who unlocks prison doors when we praise Him. Sister Tokwe, every time I look at your story, when I see what the Lord has made of you, your husband, your singing family, when I remember that he took you out of the snare of the fowler, you survived and you're thriving. And men who thought they could play God over your life, where are they today? My brother and my sister, every time you are alive, use it to praise God. It is good to have money. It is good to have houses. It's good to marry and have children. It's good to have a business that thrives or work in a company that pays a salary that is fantastic. But if all of it turns you away from God, it is bad. If any pursuit you have on earth makes you think that it is you and not God, it is bad. But every time you choose to celebrate him, every time you put him above everyone else, every time you share with people that he is God, he is responsible for all that you have become. You know what you're doing? You're not only ensuring your life here on earth, you are building a place for yourself in heaven. As I close, I take the words from Job 42 and share with you again. As bad as Job's life was in chapter 42. His friends that condemned him, his wife that condemned him, they were all witnesses to the glory of God restored in his life. Thank you, Prophet.